thank you very much. First of all, thank you for the, um, for the organizers for inviting me. And I am Leonardo Herman from Buenos Aires, Argentina, from the CONEA, which is a nuclear energy agency. And okay, I will talk about the World Trade Network and the applications of the Google Matrix on, the, on, on this network. The idea, the motivations is try to understand and try to analyze, model, or visualize uh, the network that can be huge with a lot of uh, information. In, in for this work, we will focus on the water network, which has the information of the, the all the trades of uh, in the world for different products for the last 50 years, more or less. Uh, we have analyzed other kind of networks like uh, um, Wikipedia and universities coming from the World Wide Web, also others coming from uh, software or sort of from applications, uh, Bitcoin, maybe I will mention some of that, but the main idea here is to focus on World Trade Network. These are different views of, of networks, these are the Google Matrix that uh, ordered by page rank values uh, for different networks and we can see very different uh, behaviors of very different kind of networks in, in this picture that I will explain later. Um, okay, the database we will use is, uh, comes from the World Trade uh, United Nations Commodities Trade Network, Comtrade, which has uh, the information of, uh, from 1962 for all countries, the all countries gives the information to to come trade for in, for all the imports and e exports for all kind of products. We will use here uh, the classification the, with this protocol, but we will choose 61 products in order to have a more uh, more uh, good qualification of data and 227 countries for 2008. Number of countries are changing, number of products we will fix in 61, uh, the classification of products. Uh, the trade volume is given in dollars, so we will build uh, networks that will have a dimension of 13, uh, 227 times 61 more or less, it depends on the year, so this number almost 14,000 uh, uh, nodes we will have. Okay. Let's focus on, on the, the matrix we will have. We will do two different approaches. <coughs> First approach will be to have the, the money of, the total money of one, from one country to the other in, in dollars. And also we can see the same kind of, uh, of money matrix. We can build it from a specific, uh, for a given product. Uh, then with that, we can build different kind of Google matrices. So, uh, yesterday Klaus uh, introduced a Google matrix. Uh, the idea is that is it we can uh, build a page rank, we can compute page rank, which is a, centra a centrality measure, uh, which is a spectral uh, focus. And it's very good for directed network. It's e very easy to compute. It depends on incoming links, the page rank, and then we can uh, compute the chain rank, which will depend on outgoing links. And it has non-local properties. We can, you cannot reconstruct your page rank knowing the, only the, your neighbors. You need to, to know the whole matrix. It is like your, we can think, okay, in page rank like a, a kind of uh, infinite, lim infinite time limit of a random walk. So, how we will build the matrix, suppose we have this kind of matrix, in this case the matrices will be weighted by the amount of money that uh, suppose these are countries and these are the amount of, of money that it spends or buy from one to the other uh, in a given year. So the recipe for building the Google matrix is the following. The money matrix of this, matri the, of this network will be as follows. Suppose here the first and second node, they don't have outgoing links, so columns are empty with zeros. Then suppose here the third column, go, it has 
4,000 going to 4, so we put 4,000 here and 2,800 uh, 2, to 6. So in this way we build this, kind, this matrix where it, uh, each outgoing link is, uh, is put in a column. So this matrix is positive and real. Then we, we make a, a, a matrix that is, is non-negative. Yeah, but it's uh, stochastic, uh, like a Markov process where all columns, the sum of all columns is normalized to one. When we have zeros in a column, it's uh, called a dangling node, and we put one over n in each, in each uh, element of the column. And on the other uh, elements, we normalize to one. The good thing of this is that now we have a perron frobenius theorem for non-negative uh, matrices. And so we know that the, the largest eigenvalue is one, but could have some degeneracies. So we finally we build the Google matrix with the damping factor. And in this case, uh, we have chosen 0 0.85. And the good thing of this matrix is that now we, have, we can use perron frobenio theorem for, for positive uh, matrix. So we know that we have at least one, one gap, which is at least one minus alpha. So we have a very good convergence of the system. And so we can compute page rank of, of, the, of the matrix, which is non-trivial for directed and weighted matrix. So with this many matrix, we build uh, G, Google matrix, and we can build a G star matrix, which is the same uh, approach, but uh, using the transverse of the, of the many matrix. So inverting the time. Here, uh, uh, of course, the information is there. You cannot cheat. Uh, outgoing links are very important. And uh, it's not like the World Wide Web that you can increase your position, put, uh, adding some outgoing links. Here, it's, it's not possible. It's the kind of things. Are. So the main idea is to also to compare this page rank and chain rank uh, to uh, the simple volume. Uh, ranking like export rank and import rank, which measures the the importance of a country uh, by the volume that they import or the, they export the total money they they import or export. So this will will call k bar here, and these are will be page rank and chain rank. The good thing we can now that we have these two. <coughs> these two definitions, we can use a two-dimensional ranking. Okay, from data we know these are the number of countries, uh, uh, how they evolve in time, and uh, more countries are created in time from, from the 60s. The, in red, you can see the distribution. <coughs> okay, this continues, but we, follow, we end up in 2010, but it continues, but data is not very reliable for the last years. But uh, so the amount of money is here is in logarithmic scale, uh, grows more or less exponentially. And the number of links, uh, the average number of links here also increases where, uh, because due to globalization. Well, uh, we want to have a democracy in countries, but not in product. I will explain uh, this in some slides. So we will use two different approaches for the World Trade Network uh, Google Analysis. The first one will be to focus in, in a small matrix given by the number of countries, and then we, we can see for all commodities or we can see for a given product. And the other is to build the, the multi-product uh, World Trade Network, which will be have uh, these 61 uh, products and the same amount of countries. So it will be a, a higher um, dimension. So if we want to analyze, for example, for a given product, uh, with this approach, it's simple. We have to compute only page rank. With the other approach, OK, we use some personalized vector in order to have a democracy in products, but in countries, but not in products. But so we will work in a larger, larger space large, with larger dim dimensions. So if we want to compare these two rankings, we will have a list, suppose, of page rank in this way. And if they are, these are cars, suppose cars uh, trade, here you, we have to take out only cars from a, from a longer list. So, but this is how Google works also. It gives a, a list and, and you take 
the, the, the position of a given, uh, uh, in this case, product or search or... So, these are how money matrix looks, ordered by importance of, of the country here and here, so that in the top it are more rich countries here. And these are how G and G star looks, and they are normalized each column to one, so this is why we say this is more democratic in countries because we give the, the same weight for all countries. And we see the distribution of countries of page rank, HA rank, and import rank, and export rank, and they follow a, a C flow. Uh, but the in export and imports, this more like uh, it has an exponential tail. And, and but in, in page rank, HA rank, it's a C flow. What about the spectrum? spectrum of this Google matrix. Uh, we can see, for example, uh, for all commodities, this is a spectrum in the, in the complex plane. We have with alpha equal one, so we have one eigenvalue equal to one. And if for all commodities, we, uh, it's a kind of, it's more, it's more symmetric matrix because usually the market is more symmetric in this way from imports and exports. So the this is the, the whole spectrum and is uh, close to the real, uh, it's close to be real. When we see, for example, food, now it's getting more wider and if you go inside for more specific kind of product like cereals, it's getting wider and suppose barley, now the symmetry, the, mat the matrix is far to be symmetric because usually when you buy from one country to the other, you buy barley, you, you don't say the same product. It's not balanced in a given a specific product. So we can compute also this kind of information will be in the correlator. We can define a correlator between page rank and chain rank. If the matrix is the diagonal, this will be one, but uh, it's symmetrical, I mean. And these are different networks and the values of their correlator usually uh, networks coming from the World Wide Web have, uh, can have very large correlators, but um, other kind of uh, networks, they have zero correlator. In our case, we will be here in the World Trade Network, so we will be more similar to, to the cases of, uh, of networks coming from the World, World Wide Web. Okay, this is an example of how, suppose, in Bali, how how it looks the the network, but in in the KK star uh, plane, these are the networks uh, only in in this subset. Okay, but the main and these are for cars, the positions of of the countries. The main thing is that, for example, here, uh, Ukraine is the first uh, country in in exports of barley, but in it goes to the sixth position in in chain rank, which is related with export. But so what is the difference between export rank and, and chain rank is that you can have a lot of volume of ex export in a, in, a, um, in a given product, but the chain rank measures not only the volume, but also the importance you have in the network. So for example, Ukraine is, is, has the largest volume, but go, it's not very, it has not a, a central position in the network of, of, of this network. And, and on the other hand, USA, USA is, is the opposite. It has the eighth position in, in volume and goes to the third position because they can choose a, a better position in, in the network uh, from the sales of barley. The same things can happen with cars, suppose. And now we can analyze how this ranking for all commodities evolves in time. This is uh, the plane of K. So this K I, I haven't mentioned, but is the, the position uh, in page rank value. Page rank is a real value. K is the integral number that is the first uh, K position is for the largest p-value. So here you have the most rich countries in a sense that they have a largest, I, a lar largest page rank and, and chain rank values and these are the positions. Sometimes we have this region that means that a position of 
J rank is better than position of, of page rank. So these are a, a kind of good position in economical point of view because uh, you are better exporter than importer in some way. On the other side, this, in these positions you have the opposite uh, countries that are uh, better in, in importing than exporting, so this can be a dangerous region. So let's see, this is in 1962, Let, let's see how this evolving time, that this is the year evolving, so we can see different things. One thing is that this, this part is more or less frozen, and this is, it, uh, here we have a very large movement of countries, we can see that some countries are always in this region and some others are, are moving. Uh, we can detect that the here that we have a lot of information. Suppose here you, you can see Greece always moving in this dangerous region and, and okay, this maybe we can mention that we can detect also some crisis due to, to spending a lot of time in this dangerous position. Um, we can we can see a kind of solid state phase here and a kind of ga gas state on, on due to mobility or velocity here. So we can go further and we can define like a velocity in this two-dimensional plane. Velocity square will be defined as the change in page rank and, uh, and the change in J rank position, the, the change in from one year to the other to the next year. So, and we can define also like the importance, which will be the, the sum over k and k star. So a lower, lower k plus k star will be most rich country or important country in this network. So we can see here that th these are the density, the number of countries for a given importance or, or uh, yes, in the network, and it's more or less uniform. Okay, the case here, uh, here in the, in the last part of, the, of, of this importance, we, we have very, very small countries like Ireland and this kind of, of small countries. But I, I was saying that at the, big, uh, the most importance are more or less frozen here. They be, they, these are uh, a global, uh, this is a, a, re a relative uh, comparison between countries. You, you, could, you could be in a crisis, but if the first uh, country continues to be the first, it's not visible here. Uh, so when the, import, when the countries, this K plus K star uh, grows, you can see that the velocity also grows. The points are the real data here. The red uh, is uh, the average for this data, and the blue one is a smooth average. So you can see that here it grows more or less linear, then it's, it's uniform. So here we are like in, in the gas, gas position and then decreases. But this, this is due to that we have uh, very small countries that cannot go to a very important position. So if we analyze uh, with more detail what, what is happening, suppose these are page rank position and chain rank position for uh, these are uh, here uh, four countries and these are the five countries but for different scale is the same but with different scale we can see that the the frozen part the solid state in a page rank is united states always in the first position then germany and uk uh, have some switch here and then uh, uh, you have france japan and you can see here that they are uh, going up. In export, it's a little bit different what is happening. In, ex uh, in chain rank, uh, United States uh, lost the first position here. Also, we have uh, Germany going to third position and Japan fourth. And these are related with exports, it's chain rank. And uh, so someone is entering here, which is China. China moved to the first position. China is this Xi'an curve and was, was very far away, like for uh, 18th position, something like this, entered to the first one. 
So we can see that China is a kind of deposition in these two, two states. And on the other side, we see that UK goes from second position in the 60s to maybe in, in now more than goes out, uh, out of the top 10 position. So maybe it's a case of sublimation. And one interesting thing we can say here, if we see the trajectory of Argentina, suppose, okay, I'm from Argentina, but it's a, a good example to show. The position in exports is in the last eight, uh, 20 years is more or less uh, uniform, stable, but you can see here a peak in, in page rank, which is related with imports. This peak uh, is uh, located in the, next, in the year after the crisis that we have in 2001. So the main idea is that when you have a crisis, the idea you can export in the, in you try to export in, in the same way, but imports you cannot do it because you don't, you don't have money. So this is a, a big, and so we, we can use this kind of information in, in order to de detect crisis also. I will mention this later, but let's focus in, the, in this, this part. Uh, so uh, now we, can, we want to do a very small model of the World Trade Network. Usually the models of the World, World Trade Networks are, uh, are defined in this way, uh, are called by the gravity model of trade. These are uh, defined by like the money that one country sent, uh, sends to the other, uh, buys to the products to the other, depends on, on the mass of each country, uh, are constant, and the geographical distance between these two countries. Uh, this model works well, but it's a symmetric model. From IJ to GI, it's exactly the same. In these pictures, we have uh, the plot of money matrix elements ij uh, as a function of gi so this is a symmetric thing but you can see that if the matrix money matrix is symmetric will be in a line here this is from nine uh, years 1962 and this is from 2008 which looks more or less which looks uh, similar but this is far away to be a line we have a, a directed network which uh, has is <laughs> far to be symmetric. So uh, this in log log scale, you can see this tail that this gravity model will show only one line here. The, the only change between 62 and 2008 is okay, we, it's more dense and also the scale has changed uh, 100 times. Uh, the money matrix in, in dollars. So and this is how it looks, the money matrix, suppose for a given product like petroleum, which is other kind of things, very different. So we can define a very simple model in order to, to analyze this, which was uh, the simplest model of, of random model we, you can do is like uh, taking two different random numbers between zero and one and divided by a, a j, a j and you will end up with this kind of um, of money matrix. Okay, normalize in, in another way, but the, the, uh, this is very simple and it works very well for our system. So this is the real data for money, this, the difference between position of J rank and page rank and the, the sum over two of these two of the 50 years we have analyzed and for, for the all countries. And this is a density plot. And with the model, we use the same number of, of points. And we have this kind of, of for one, one run of the, of the random model, one, uh, we obtain this. So it looks similar. Okay, we were talking about crisis. We, we can define a balance, which is the, di the difference between J rank and J um, page rank values divided by this weight, which is the sum over page rank and J rank values. So 
And in 2008, suppose you, you can, we can do a, a kind of a table for top countries with uh, negative balance in this case. Um, and the most taking into account only the, the most important countries with weight larger than 0.05, so almost 20% of countries. This is the rank, but this is the global rank without, without this. So Greece was in the first position, Spain, Romania, all countries that they, they were close to the crisis, uh, they were in a, in a bad position of balance. So if we, if we do like the change, of, the change of balance in time, and we analyze the list for the whole period, we can see very specific crisis only ordering this these values of the change of balance. Usually it works like I said, when you, when you have a, are in a bad position, you have to uh, increase your balance and then you can decrease it if you have a good balance. Okay, let's move a little bit to this uh, multi-product water network. All of the first part was done with the first approach. With multi-product, we can define also balance, but uh, balance of countries for this is also 2008, but uh, now analyzing a large matrix and tracing out over products in order to obtain the balance of countries. This is how it looks, the import-export uh, balance. On, uh, and you have uh, with import-exports, everything is more uh, uniform, close to zero, but the, some African countries will have a, a different values here for import and export of balance. But with page rank and chain rank, we can see that, for example, the balance of, uh, of China is very good because they export, their export position is much better than the imports. And some, uh, we have other kind of information and we, we think that it's more visible with patient and children. Other important thing we can do with the product, uh, multi-product network is we, we can also make a, a kind of a rank, ranking of products in this network. Products, they don't have uh, interactions in, in the data we are using because uh, it sells all kind of products. What are the sales from one country to the other, but doesn't, sell, doesn't use any information of what uh, the, does the country inside. We don't have information that one country sells, uh, uh, buys one, th one thing in order to produce the other. So we don't have interactions between products. But with this uh, approach, we can do it in the same way. We have uh, like uh, two parameters. We have uh, countries and, and products. So if we trace out over countries, we obtain the ranking on products. So. These are the ranking of products using the, in the diagonal using the, import, the imports and export rank, which is diagonal, and using this uh, page rank and chain rank approach, we can see a very rich behavior that we have the same kind of information of countries now in products. Here we can see that the most imported pro products here are the related with technology, machinery, uh, cars, and these kind of things that are imported for a lot of countries, but exported only for a few. And on the other hand, these positions uh, are occupied by, by the food. Suppose this red belongs to the first category, which are different kind of food. Uh, it could be, uh, okay. Uh, not very visible, but different kinds of food. And this is how evolves also in time the ranking of products. Okay, let's move to what, what's happen, what is happening with the spectrum of the system. For the World Trade Network, multi-product World Trade Network, 
we have uh, almost 14,000 uh, nodes, so it can be diagonalized uh, numerically in exact way. So these are the eigenstates, the eigenvalues, and we have seen in Wikipedia, Klaus mentioned yesterday that uh, there are some in the eigenstates of a given eigenvalue different from one. Uh, we have the information of a community there, and we can see the same th kind of things here in the World Trade Network. Uh, we will see, for example, this is G and this is G star spectrum, and we will analyze these four uh, eigenvalues. What are the eigenstates related with these eigenvalues? Here we, we take two real eigenvalues and here we two complex eigenvalues but all of them with the large uh, modulus because uh, other in other case uh, will be the information is not very reliable. These are the, um, the participation ratio of this uh, spectrum of uh, the all the eigenstates. So all these four cases are more or less, are more or less localized, very large uh, small values of participation ratio which is this, this quantity which measures the number of nodes that are uh, appears in a given eigenstate. So, and close to zero we see that we have a delocalized, uh, also because we have a degeneracies close to zero. But these are the, these four eigenstates uh, in red, uh, violet, green and blue, and uh, these are ordered by decreasing order of modulus of, uh, of the values, normalized to one in this case. So we can see that they are norm uh, localized in, in 10, more or less in 10 uh, nodes. Each node here is a given product for a given country. So uh, if we analyze what are the important, uh, the important nodes in this in these four eigenstates we have that in the red the the top 10 uh, nodes are related with the same product in all cases they are related always with the same product and these are the the communities suppose the in red we have a sugar and this community on on blue we have a, the community of the products of uh, fertilizers and also not only the community of fertilizers but uh, for a given region. This is a community so we have uh, South America here, Brazil, Bolivia. So uh, of course this is a not, this is not very a good uh, tool in order to, to obtain uh, communities because you have to diagonalize a very big matrix but on the other hand you can analyze the, that the communities are present in the eigenstates of uh, this matrix. We, we have done this also with larger matrices but could be more expensive uh, using like uh, different uh, numerical methods like an Arnoldi methods and, and could be uh, very difficult. Okay, now let's move uh, to the reduced Google Matrix that was used, uh, explained yesterday by Klaus also and analyzed by in, in some cases for with Katia did some uh, the idea I won't talk again all the I won't explain everything but the main idea is that we have uh, the system and we, we want uh, to analyze what happened in a subset of the system now the subset will be our system and the rest of the nodes of the network will be the environment. So Google, Ma the Google Matrix can be divided in these four blocks. GRR, we are have the direct uh, links and then we can uh, write GR in this NR space and GR has three different uh, Parts. The first one is the direct link. The second one is related with the projector of the with the eigenstate, the the patient, 
uh, and is more or less uh, proportional to page rank, could be maybe the largest part, but the most interesting one is the, the, the one, the part that is undirected links, but the, they are, they have more information than page rank. So this is the approach uh, that was introduced in this, in this paper. And within, I will mention here some pl plots that were done with uh, Celestin, who is there, uh, and, and in collaboration with Dima and Jose. So the, uh, for petroleum, we have chosen here our subset of interest is the petroleum of the, the European countries. And we have add, uh, also uh, Russia here because it's um, the first uh, exporter in petroleum, the first in, in chain rank. Uh, so we want to see how, for example, how Russia affects on, on the other countries. But first of all, we will see uh, these 28 countries, how it looks, the matrix. And you can see here direct links of the matrix. And they, these are the 28 countries. And uh, this is, sorry, this is GR, the reduced Google matrix. This is the direct links. These are the direct, direct links. These are the part of the matrix which is more or less proportional to page rank, the projector with the first eigenstate. And these are the second and third and, and all the other eigenstate projection. So the main thing we can see that here the, the direct link, direct links between countries is, are very large. In this case, th these are the trace over the, this matrix divided by N, not the trace, but the sum over all the elements of the matrix divided by N. And it's close to 0 0.3, it means that it has 30% of the weight here. And usually for Wikipedia and some other networks, they, it is the close to 1% because here is w very well connected the, the market of pet petroleum in the, it, this is a communi community in some sense that is well connected. Uh, the pro part proportional to page rank is in this case 0 0.65, but usually it's very large, it's 95%. And uh, here we have the undirected links without the diagonal term. And we'll, in this case, it's uh, three point f uh, almost 4% of, of the weight. So we can see here some undirected links from, suppose here is from Malta to UK. And here you, we have different cases like direct links here. Uh, we have, uh, for example, Netherlands to Belgium it has a very direct link. We can build from this uh, G, a reduced network, we can build a kind of other kind of network, which is uh, the friend, four friend networks. The idea is to take the four most important outgoing links of this uh, Google matrix. And if we do uh, this, we obtain this uh, this network where uh, here you can see that there are some countries like Netherlands or then France maybe Spain or uh, Germany that are in the central position it means that uh, all the flow of petroleum if for the four uh, most important elements goes to to Netherlands or these uh, important countries this is what we have if we change the order of the the, the links or the, the, the time, we reverse the time, it, it means the direction of the arrows and we take also the four most more important and we obtain this that Russia is the this is the most important he, here this is the order of the of the money flow if we if we want to see it like this. So it means that Russia exports to almost all countries of, of Europe and also Netherlands here. Um, a lot of things can be done with this database. This is, we can compute also the sensitivity of balance. This is the change of balance. When we change 
a, a matrix element of the Google matrix. So what happens for, uh, and this will indicate uh, how depends all the, the page rank of, the, of these countries and chain rank of these countries, the difference, uh, by a change of one a small change of the Google matrix element. This is for Russia, and for Russia we see that here in blue uh, the change is very small, and in red uh, we have Italy and Netherlands which are more affected. With Saudi Arabia, if we change Saudi Arabia, how it affects to the community, the European community countries, and with USA also. And you can see that they are very different, so you can identify the sensitivity for a given country and a given product, how it affects the change in price of one, only one element. The same thing can be done with gas, and with gas it's more visible that if we change gas in Russia, it's a, it has very different behavior here, was before, before 2008, so before the, the pipeline that has from Russia to Germany, so gas affects the more the the neighbors of of Russia because it uh, has a very different market. Okay, I will mention that we were also work, uh, working in in other kind of networks. We have analyzed uh, Bitcoin network, which is uh, open. The only thing you have to do is to to build the matrix, and also we, we would like to analyze uh, interbank payment uh, network, but this is uh, very difficult to do because information usually is hidden. We have uh, tried to, to convince some people in order to, to give the information, but this, is, uh, not, this was not possible. So this is an example of a paper of Soramaki in 2007, how it looks the, the interbank payment network. And the thing we have done with uh, Bitcoin is to obtain the, all the information now uh, until uh, the year 2013. The number of nodes in for Bitcoin is the order of 10, uh, 10 million or something like this. So it's, it's large, now we cannot analyze 10 million matrix, but uh, we can uh, take some part of the spectrum. Uh, we did it with, with Klaus. And we have seen that the Gini coefficient of this Bitcoin network is uh, much worse uh, for uh, money, than for volume, than uh, for patient and children, which is more democratic, but we have seen that Bitcoins are also uh, are um, the um, largest amount of Bitcoin belongs to only few few users. And other things, Bitcoin network is not very good because they are changing users all the user names all the time, and they move uh, the money from one account to the other, and we cannot identify people from users, and there could be an this is the good thing of Bitcoin for that you, it's very difficult to identify someone there. Okay, I will move to a different thing only to mention that the, the, all these rankings we have done with uh, Google matrix analysis, but we can, um, here we will use other kind of uh, protocol of uh, algorithm that comes from ecology in order to rank also countries and products. This, the, the idea is very simple. We, in biology, so you have a networks, bipartite networks, which are networks that you have links from one, one set to the other, and you don't have uh, links between this, this inside each set. So the, usually in, in ecology, you have a, so suppose this is a network of, but bacteria and phages that affects the bacteria, and you have bacteria that are more susceptible here that more susceptible means that uh, you have a lot of uh, phages pointing to to them 
that affects the bacteria and very uh, bacteria that are hard to infect like this one so only few few phases this this kind of network uh, occurs in in real network and you have generalist uh, phages that point to all of most almost all the bacteria and more especially that points only to this part of the of the bacteria it's not you, you, you don't have especially that uh, affects too hard to infect uh, bac uh, bacteria. The same thing can be done, for example, with animals, some species and some islands, some, some regions of, or uh, some plants or insects and plants and this kind of, of uh, systems. The idea is to order here suppose plants and animals in a way that given the dimensions of the bacteria and the dimension of phages here uh, and the number of links you could make a, a curve here and the idea is to to do permutations of this matrix in order to have uh, almost all ones here on all zeros here to decrease the distance of the ones the zeros here with this curve and the and the ones with this curve also. So after all permutations you can do, you obtain a ranking of of plants, suppose here, and of uh, of animals here. That are animals that could live in, in some places and places that they live very are very much of animals. Okay. The same thing can be done for imports and exports. Now we need a binary network, so we, we have a weighted network, but we define a threshold in order to have this, this uh, matrix. And after that, the idea is to, yes, to decrease zeros here and ones here. And this is for 2008 for uh, countries and for products. In this way, we can we have other ranking that we call ecological ranking. This is how the matrix, the money matrix, looks for can products and countries when we analyze imports, and here we when we analyze exports. And but we trace, we define a threshold, and we put one if it is uh, larger than the threshold, and zero if it is below. below. So the rankings we have. Uh, found are different from page rank and chain rank rankings and uh, they are different also with volume matrix we, we can say some examples but they are very different and the information we have for example is that is something similar we have uh, obtained for uh, for products for multi products that here the for imports the most common uh, products are related for imports for with this uh, technology and machinery, blue and, and black, and for exports, uh, more related with, with food. It's more easy to export food than machinery. But, and if we see only the money rank of products, we will see that it's more related with imports because rich countries that takes uh, imports is are, m are more expensive with uh, with these products so uh, it governs between these these two these are the list okay uh, okay i think uh, i will stop here uh, the um, conclusions will be that we have uh, analyzed the world trade network with the the google matrix approach and we have done in this uh, two-dimensional space, we have done several things um, like modeling, visualizing, and, and analyze also the, the spectral properties and, and uh, obtain some communities there. In, and, and the good thing of this approach is that once you have the information, you can do a lot of things. With Bitcoin, we did it and we, we hope to have more information about uh, some other economical systems. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for questions.
um, were you able to identify the origin of the uh, crisis of um, products in terms of imports? Uh, the origin in products? Yeah. The, with crisis here, the bad thing, you cannot predict nothing. The only thing you can do, uh, for at least for us, is to analyze the past and, and see, okay, we have a crisis because you need a difference between the two, two years in order to identify. Uh, we have seen crisis in, in countries. We have an, an analyzed countries, uh, crisis in, uh, with in products. You mean maybe, I, I don't know what would be a crisis in, in a product. Yes, because we have seen a, a peak for Argentina. For yes. And what is this peak? Uh, the, the meaning of the peak, the, this peak is that uh, this is a rank. Uh, this is a ranking, so it's a, it's a ranking of countries. So this peak is that it goes from, suppose, 45 posi 45th position to, I don't know, 70th position in the, in the whole world. Uh, these are crises of a specific uh, country or a specific region because they move uh, a lot compared with other countries. Global crises are not too so easy to detect because the whole world is mov moving uh, in a bad position. But so USA in a global crisis will remain to be the first. But what what this the, the meaning of this peak is that the position in exports or in chain rank which is related with export here is more or less the same but the import position like page rank position goes from good a good position to a bad position in some way so it does it means that you cannot import more for uh, this year because you don't have money you don't have uh, uh, any you cannot take de debts so the only thing you can do is to go to a worst position then then due to the exports maybe you can spend the next year because you move in balance a lot the next year maybe you can buy more things and, and recover your position more or less okay. here we can see that it never recover perfectly but but this is the meaning of yes huh. I have a question for the same slide. Yes. So to detect crisis is interesting, but maybe it's already too late. Yes. Can can this technology methodology can be used to anticipating crisis from some the big signal? The the only thing, okay, if I I mentioned that these regions are dangerous in some way. So if you if you are all the time in this region or you move a lot in this in in k position you move to the left here and and then you move to the top so it, you for sure you will have a, a crisis here for example if you see evolution you can see the movement suppose greece is very visible here it's always in in these positions but i don't know exactly when, when the crisis will arrive, but we know that if it spends a lot of time here, we'll have, uh, we'll have a, a crisis. But to detect something, to uh, say something about the future in economics is not so easy. And we, do, we can say that this is a, a dangerous uh, region and this will be a, a, a good region, but no more than that, at least for myself. More questions? Where is France on the graph? Sorry? I d can you show me where is France? France? Is in, no, France is, the, I don't know if it's visible. No, it's, it's here. France is here, but uh, we have a lot of flags, so, and it's in, in a solid uh, state. So it's not very visible, but uh, it's here. Now it's with the United States, UK. Maybe it moves a little bit, but uh, we have to do some zoom here in order to see France. Here you can see the position of France. It's in the fourth, goes to the third, in fourth, fifth, and it moves like this, the red one. Okay. Yeah.
I have one question. Um, I think you had a slide that was showing that the page rank, the cherry rank difference is, is better uh, than the balance difference. But yeah. you try to understand why, uh, why oh. page rank is a, is a better uh, like uh, indication of the crisis than, than the balance itself. So I, this slide you were, sh you, you were showing so quickly, I'm, I'm curious of like... Uh, this one? Uh, no, it has other information. Uh, we are not saying that uh, we can detect crisis better with, but it has other kind of information. This is import and export, and you will see that the most uh, largest and smallest values are uh, most of them here in Africa, that maybe small countries can affect a lot, uh, because this, this balance is normalized. With the with the sum over p, so small countries can have uh, peaks, and here using page rank and chain rank, you, you can see, for example, what would be the the most important exporter in the world in these those years was uh, China, but China here using import and export because you divide by the the total weight, it's not very visible here. It's in the cyan part. But with patient and children, it's very difficult, very busy, easy to, to see it. But it, it has other kind of information. Our, our information is global and it's related with Google Matrix, and the other is local information and it can be done only with volume. But if there are no more questions, then thank you very much. Okay, thanks.